Hello and welcome to the One Show. In this episode, I will show you how to debug our bus servos. As you can see, this is our three bus servos, and this is our debug board. Okay, it is necessary for you to know that you have to uh, set ID numbers by using our debug board for them, and uh, so that you can use them. And also, our um, bus servo is a little bit special because you can only use our debug board or our servo controllers to control our servo's movement. Okay, and uh, you can see we have already used these cables to connect to these three bus board. And now all we need to do is to connect these batteries to this debug board. And just like this, it's very easy. Okay, let's get started. And now we can set ID numbers for our bus servo. Okay, one more time. If you want to use our bus servo, you need to set ID numbers for them first. So just double click the icon first and open our bus servo terminal interface, just like this. And this is our bus servo terminal interface. Um, as you can see, the ID number of our bus servo is 1, and that's exactly what we want, right? So if you want to change this ID number, maybe you want to change the ID number for 2, maybe 5, you can also change. So I will show you how to set ID numbers in this episode. Okay, first you need to connect this bus board to our computer by using our USB cable. And now you can select uh, COM from the list. Just click this button, open port. You can see the light turn green, indicating the uh, collection is successful, right? So now you can set ID numbers. Just click this button. And now you can change the ID number in this small interface. And also you can adjust the division in this small interface. So what about this one? This one is the rotation angle of our bus servo and from the zero to 1000. Actually, the rotation of our servo is 240 degrees and that means this zero to 1000 corresponds to 240 degrees. So if you wanna change the rotation angle, you just drag the slider to the way you want. For example, if you drag the slider to the middle point and that's uh, 500 and that means the rotation angle of your servo is 120 degrees. So do you understand? Okay, and uh, look at this one. This one is the voltage range, the mi minimum voltage and the maximum voltage. So, and that means if the voltage range of your servo exists the setting voltage, then the servo will alarm you. But how to alarm you? I will show you. You can say the actually there's a light behind the servo. So if uh, uh, your voltage exceeds the setting voltage, then the blue light will be flashing all the time. Okay, and we call it overcurrent protection. And uh, look at this one. This one is the temperature range. As you can see, the setting temperature range is and twenty five. A degree Celsius. So that means if the internal interface of our bus servo exists the 85 degrees Celsius and the servo will alarm you and we call it over temperature protection. Okay and also the servo will alarm you if the servo is stored and you can see this is our three protection in this interface.